Today we are looking at the ASUS GT1030 2GB graphics card. We will be going over why I chose this graphic card compared to the others on the market, how it physically looks when installed on the motherboard, and finally, answering the question if this card is capable of video editing using HitFilm Express. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. On my channel, I like to take close-up camera shots and discuss usage experience of the product. If you are new to the channel, please remember to subscribe. Recently, I have been using more graphic-intensive softwares as I embark on building my new YouTube channel. Apart from playing Minecraft, the main graphic-intensive application I am using is an application called HitFlip. The Express version is free, by the way. It's a little bit unbelievable given the amount of features and cap capabilities that comes with the HitFilm Express version. Researching on the market, the chipset that would fit my budget would be the NVIDIA GeForce GT710 and GT1030 GPUs. I was comparing between ASUS, Gigabyte, and MSI brands, and ended up choosing ASUS, not because it's better than the others, but simply because my motherboard is an ASUS motherboard. I'm after a smooth installation experience. Not that different brands motherboard and graphics card won't work, just that there could be compatibility issues. Given I'm someone who is time poor, I didn't want to spend time troubleshooting hardware. Maybe this is something you can consider too. Which motherboard brand are you actually using? When it comes down to GT710 or GT1030, the price difference is quite substantial. At time of purchase, I bought this ASUS GT1030 at a sale price of $110, and the ASUS GT710 was also on sale at half price. That's $55. In fact, the GT710 also has a 2GB video RAM and actually comes with an extra DSUB monitor port on top of the DVI and HDMI ports. After watching the GPU benchmark tests between the two, I understand why the GT1030 is double the price. It's simply because the GT1030 GPU is approximately 4 times faster than the GT710 GPU when it comes to gaming and video editing. Double the price, but 4 times faster? That sounds very worthy to me. So I went for the GT1030. After I purchased it, I then realized the ASUS GT730 and GT1030 are both fanless. The heat sink looks plasticky in the picture, but it's actually made of some kind of alloy steel. Very sleek and beautiful. Have a listen. The size of the heat sink is just remarkable. Just look at it. This is the largest heat sink I've ever seen. The way it curves, it looks like a piece of art. I've never seen anything like this before. Anyway, I'll show you the installation next. Before I install this card, I'm only using the onboard Intel HD Graphics 4600 chip. Running hit film is quite laggy, and the main issue is the onboard graphics could not export some of my videos. It simply ran out of memory and errored out. After installing this card, scrolling through the editor timeline on HitFilm is super smooth. Every frame refreshes instantaneously. Wherever I scroll, everything is buttery smooth. No lag at all. It used to be very jittery and would crash the app when using the onboard graphics card. Now, the export doesn't error out anymore and is faster. The idling temperature of this ASUS GT1030 card is at around 33 degrees. When exporting my 8 minute video clips, the temperature progressively increased to 41 degrees maximum. 
when it's at about 90% done. It then drops back to 34 degrees, 5 minutes after the export completes. From the ASUS GPU Tweak 2 application that comes with the video card, I can see the GPU and 2GB RAM of the card is pretty much maxed out when I'm exporting the Heat Film Express. Just to show you the heat ventilation setup of my PC, the heat sink of this ASUS video card is actually facing down when installed on the motherboard. This is kind of good because dust won't get trapped in the heat sink. By the way, in my CPU configuration, I have two exhaust fan and one CPU fan. There is also a fan at the bottom of the power supply. So, if you are wondering if this ASUS GT1030 card is capable of video editing using Hit Film Express, here you go. It's much more than capable, I would say. Just for your info, this is the full spec of my PC setup. I would highly recommend this ASUS graphic card for video editing, not to mention, it does not require a fan compared to other brands. One less fan to power up, which means one less mechanical part to break. That's it folks. Please feel free to ask me in the comments if you have any questions. I hope my video is useful and has helped you make your purchase decision. Once again, if you are new to the channel, please remember to subscribe and leave a like. That will be a great help. I hope I can make more of such videos for you. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Bye.